So let's see what's cooking in the chat. Um, Oscar Ruzo, this is like a custom, I mean, I built basically a custom slider UI element. You could just use a slider and then just pass it as an int. I don't know why the inspector preview is different. I think that to me, the one in the editor looks, cr oh, oh, no, I know why. I know why. It's because the camera has some uh, post-processing effects on it. The main camera has post-processing. It's using the post-processing stack. Here, the post-processing behavior. This is V1 of the post-processing behavior. That's why. Oh, man. Hi, Yusin. You want me to try and make a build? Sure. Why not? We like doing dangerous things on the stream, right? Let's give it a try. Build. Let's find out. See if it works. This is going to be, I'm going to cut this out if it doesn't work, okay? Just be forewarned. Test build for Hydrosyn. How about that? Let's see what happens. Jay Acklick. Yeah, this should work on mobile, but you're going to want to do some tests yourself. Okay. Wow. Okay. So it seemed like that was, it was doing some kind of CPU intensive proce process. Uh, and I know that my computer is pretty fast. So. I'm assuming it was doing some kind of transcoding or something on the video, but let's let's have the moment of truth. Let's see. Oh, it's made with Unity. Seems to work. Yep. It works. Uh, so Hydrosyn, I'm sort of slight, I'm, I'm happy that it worked slightly sorry because that doesn't help you. Um, I would look to your video file formats. Uh, I'm using H.264 videos here, I believe, um, which are like the same format that we usually upload to YouTube. Um, and it works. So maybe try that like a 1920 by 1080 H.264. Kodak. Hooray. <laughs> yes. I'm glad it didn't crash on the stream. That would be embarrassing, right? So that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Give the, give the Kodak thing a try, Hydrosyn. Um, I'm guessing it's an issue with your, with the video clip itself. Uh, just, you know, off the top of my head. I would just just experiment with some different resolutions and different bit rates, right? Because bit rate is a big determinant of file size as well. You're going to want to go lo as low as you can, ideally, and still get your look. Uh, Alan Matano, yeah, you can make your textures video. I mean, you're going to want to do that judiciously, right? Don't, don't go crazy because they are heavy files. Uh, it's going to add a lot to your project size and also memory requirements. But, yeah, you can. Yes, uh, Alan Matano. Yes, you can make uh, if you render out your video with alpha, you can read that info in your shader. Yes, in the material. Um, GM Liquid Media asks, what about adding an image to the far clipping plane of the cam? I would probably just do a plane that's a child of the camera. Would be easy, right? just position it at the far clip plane or wherever you wanted with whatever texture. If it's just supposed to remain, keep a static relationship with the camera, just make it a child and you should achieve that. Alan Matano. Yeah, I did compose that music in the second video. It's in, if you want it, it's in the VR. It's like a 30 second loop, but it's in the VR samples project. All the music and audio uh, for that project was stuff that I made. Oh, yes. Hydrosyn, this is a good question. Uh, what does transcode do when importing a video clip? What transcode does is it will change the format of the video clip. It'll re, it'll basically reformat the clip into new codec. And I'm pretty sure the one it wants to format stuff to is H.264. I think H.264 is like the recommended. So you can just drop random clips into Unity and it'll format them to H, it'll transcode them to H.264, but I would recommend probably try to create, instead of relying on that, try to create correct, uh, correctly encoded source from your editing application or whatever you're authoring your video in. 
GM Liquid Media. Yeah, definitely. Having a flat image, even if you just render your models, right, will definitely be uh, cheaper. You should not have to transcode already if you're in H.264. No, that's my understanding anyway. All right, guys, so I'm going to jump off. Uh, thanks so much, everybody, for coming. And I will be back in September. I'm not precisely sure when, um, but I will be back. And I'll watch the live trading page for updates on the schedule. Uh, and we will pick up and carry on then. Until then, enjoy your summer. And thanks for watching. Sorry, wait, no, wait, 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 not September. <laughs> no, I'm tripping. Sorry, I am going to be back in two weeks. I'm doing nav mesh in two weeks. Then I'm going on hiatus for September. Oh my God, my mind. The heat is getting to me. I will be back in two weeks. Then. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Hydra, and you're, you're panicked. September? No, I'll be back in two weeks. We're going to do nav mesh before I go, and then I'm going on vacation for August. Sometimes I just forget what is going on with time and time and space in the universe. <laughs> 726. I will be back on 726. <laughs> See you in two weeks. All right. Bye, everybody.